urban tech is broader. It includes infrastructure. Uh, it includes what we call hard systems, so bridges and tunnels and streets and everything that you can actually see in the city, but also what we call soft systems, so social networks um, and cultural systems that are also part of like what makes cities attractive to people and kind of he um, support the economic vibrancy of cities. So we have a very broad view of what urban technology is. It could be everything from a smart light bulb uh, to a sensor that's on a water pipe that tells you if it's going to break, to um, hailing an Uber to get you from one place to another, um, or an app that shows you when the next subway train is coming, or a route that will optimize your mass transit usage. Well, there's a, a broad uh, number of issues that we can focus on here in New York. Um, specifically, something we've talked a lot about is broadband and the digital divide, which was highlighted af after COVID. I mean, COVID gave us a very unique opportunity to look at some of the challenges of living in dense urban environments where um, the disparity of people's access to technology was really heightened, whether it's remote schooling or remote, remote working. So broadband is one specific area of infrastructure and technology that we are looking at. But we're also looking at, you know, opportunities to you know, kind of build on more fair systems so that thinking about computer vision taking a, a broader role in how we manage cities, but also understanding that there's a bias in many computer vision systems. So kind of taking technology at kind of the most granular in terms of access to technology, but also kind of pushing technology so that we can get smarter in terms of how we manage cities and begin to optimize some of our urban systems. Well, what we think of when it comes to civil infrastructure, I, I happen to teach a course here called Urban Systems. So we look very much at the interrelatedness of systems. So one of the benefits of technology and specifically digital technology is that we have access to information like we never had before. So one of the uh, issues we talk a lot about in my course is measuring the city and measuring the metabolism of the city. So what roads are used more often? Uh, what roads are used less often? Like where is there a leaky pipe in terms of infrastructure? What subway stations and subway lines are overwhelmed with people which, were, which are uh, underutilized? So optimizing systems is a, is a whole new world that I don't think we've really tapped into in terms of understanding um, how urban systems work and affect people's daily lives. So it's not just about the technology upgrade, which I think we can you know, continue to push and push the city and agencies to kind of adopt technology, but it's really the data side of the equation, like how we can actually optimize the systems through understanding and mining that data to actually make it into useful information. Well, I think it's specifically one of the things that I'd like folks to begin to understand is that, you know, urban technology is the marrying urban planning and technology together. So we can't just solve cities in a vacuum and we shouldn't just think about technology uh, in terms of, um, you know, a user or a customer. We have to think about the social and political impacts of technology on, you know, the broader culture. So if we can make technologists more sensitive to urban issues and make urbanists more uh, adaptive to new technologies, then I think we've done our job.